Welcome back everybody. As you probably guessed from the title of the video, we're going over this armored vest here from the folks over at Bullet Safe. I think a year or two ago now, I did a video test on a previous product that they had. This is essentially a much product improved, at least on paper anyway. We're gonna see how it does when we start shooting it with bullets, but a much product improved version of that. So a few notable improvements. Number one, it's less bulky. It has a different cut to it. It still covers all of the vitals and has that over wrapping uh, protection there for your sides, which is huge. Um, and it is lighter as well. I believe they cut 40% of the weight, but still maintain that level 3A capability. They did that with just advancement in materials. And then this is all made in the United States, 100%. Additionally, it is NIJ certified, whereas the previous ones were made overseas and not NIJ certified. Um, comes in a number of different sizes, all the way from extra small, I believe up to 4X. And just on the sizing guide to kind of give you an idea, right now this morning I weighed in at 197 pounds, I'm six feet tall, and this is a large. So on their sort of sliding scale, I'm kind of in between large and medium, and you can see this is how a large fits on me. But enough of that, let's get up close and personal, take a look at it, and then start attempting to put some holes in it. So taking a look here at the carrier, you'll see that there's eight different places that you can adjust the actual fitment of it. So both here on each side, uh, additionally on the back on each side, and then for your um, where it sits on your torso, how high it sits up, you can adjust it either here in the back on both sides and then here as well in the front. Um, it does have a nice Cordera feel to it, has a ability to take a patch if you're like a security guard or law enforcement, whatever the case may be, has that capability. It also has the capability to insert a hard plate both in the front and back. They do offer a hard plate here that fits in there. So uh, that's a level three rated plate, but in conjunction with this vest, it becomes level four rated. Um, looking at the inside, you guys can see you have nice mesh in there. It's breathable and you can wash the exterior and not have to wash the actual armor because it comes out here. Uh, via this opening with hook and loop tape. And uh, honestly, in terms of the carrier, that's pretty much it. Like I said, plate carrier there, insert area on the back. And uh, with that, let's start shooting it. We've got the vest set up downrange at approximately 10 feet. So we're essentially just gonna get muzzle velocity in terms of energy. And for those that don't know, uh, level 3A is rated for 357 Magnum slash 44 Magnum. I brought out a 44 Magnum revolver and 357 ammo, so I kind of messed that one up, but I have something even more powerful that we'll use later on to test it out. First up though, we're gonna run some double op buck. This is rated for 1300 feet per second. And uh, double op buck isn't what this is rated for, but we're gonna see how it does anyway. It's nine pellet coming out of a 20 inch barrel, so it's gonna have good velocity. <laughs> Let's check it out. As you guys saw at this distance, it stayed really tight in terms of pattern. That's maybe two inches. So hitting hard at two inches for sure. If it spread it out, it'd be a little easier to take. But you can see there on the back, we had some tearing, but absolutely nothing actually went through. Obviously it moved a little bit. And I should add that we do have uh, a box with dirt in it, probably about 40 pounds of dirt. So that way it has some resistance, just like your chest would. And it's on a rickety table. And that'll probably be the last time you guys will see that table because Sportsman's Guide has just signed on to be a table sponsor, uh, which we appreciate. But you guys can see there, absolutely no pass through. Just pushed, pr pushed on it pretty darn hard. Let's keep going. One of the really cool things about UHWMP armor is the fact that it's multi-hit rated. So I should be able to hit this over and over again with rounds that it's rated for, and it should be able to stop them all. We're gonna put that to the test here real quick. We have a mix of Minuteman munitions and ZQI in there. The ZQI has a steel jacket. Um, so who knows, steel jackets can be a little wonky with armor. Uh, the Minuteman though, of course, does not. It's full metal jacket coming out of my MP5 SD. We're gonna give it a little full auto funk and uh, see how it likes it. Again, we're at like 10 feet. <laughs> Let's check it out.
as y'all saw there, we had a bunch of hits on the carrier all the way around. And of course the same is true there on the armor. Let me actually open it up and see what happened back there. And we had one that tore it, but it didn't go through right there. It's a tear, but I can feel that bullet right there. So otherwise, good to go. I'm gonna flip this thing around and uh, we'll get a fresh side and really test this thing out. As I hinted at in the beginning, I have something much more powerful than the 44 mag out here. And that is our 460 Smith & Wesson. And we have this load here. It's a federal uh, 260 grain soft point load. Look at that thing. That's insane. So first off, it's absolutely not rated for this. I'm genuinely curious to see if it'll stop it though. I don't know. So we shall see. It's got an eight inch barrel here. This is the Smith & Wesson Performance Center uh, revolver. And uh, we're about to find out, but like I said, I flipped it over. So we got a fresh side here and we'll see what this hand cannon will do. It's uh, it's no joke. <laughs> Y'all have already seen the slow motion, so I don't know what you guys think, but absolutely stopped it. So if you look right here, uh, rather if I take it out and get a good look at it. As you can see, a little bit of tear there in the carrier and without question, it moved it. You would have probably a broken rib, maybe even a little bit more, but you would not have a four, six size bullet going through your chest, which is nice, right? That's, that's a good thing. So like I said, I accidentally uh, brought out 357 Magnum in a 44 revolver, but all that is out the window at this point. It stopped a 460 Smith & Wesson out of an eight inch barrel at 10 feet. So without question, this stuff lives up to its rating. Folks that are new to the channel probably thought that last segment was the end of the testing, but no. If you're new here and you don't know, all armor dies. So absolutely, this armor is not rated for rifles at all, let alone uh, M193, which is coming out of a 16 inch barrel here in my ACR. It's gonna be humming. And as you see, M193 brass case, 55 grain stuff. Should tear right through there. There's only one way to find out. Let's see. <laughs> As I said earlier, obviously it lived up to what it was rated for and more. One thing I wanted to point out as well is that they make a backpack insert, which is made out of the exact same material. And this one here, I believe is 10 by 14. And it is the exact same material, literally made in the exact same plant. This is NIJ certified, this isn't. But the reason for that, for folks that don't know, to get a certain item NIJ certified, costs between $25,000 to $35,000. So it's not cheap. So they didn't want to add the cost into the backpack insert that they did into the best. Um, because of course, for the best, a lot of uh, law enforcement agencies, a lot of security companies, etc., they require their workers to have that NIJ certification. So if you're looking for that and you want it all made in America and at a pretty good price point, which I don't think we mentioned yet, price point on this one is $299. So if you look around for US made options that are NIJ certified, that's the cheapest that I know of to date. And obviously, like I said earlier, it's also lighter than most because they improve the materials when they move production here to the United States. So that's pretty much it on the carrier. If you guys have any questions, you can always post down below in the comment section as always. I do appreciate you watching. If you're not subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you've done that and hit the notification bell and you're still not seeing two to four videos a week here on the channel, uh, you can sign up for my email list at the website that you see here on your screen. At most, that email goes out once or twice a month and it basically just has all of the videos since my previous email. So that way there's no social media giant censoring your eyes from my content. Then we also have a daily deals email as well. And that goes out every day as the name indicates and it has the best deals that I find along the internet. If this thing goes on sale and any 
guns, gear, accessories, optics, all of those things, if they go on sale and are at a good price, I'll shoot it out in the email so that way we can save you guys some money as well as some time because I do the looking for you. And with that, we'll end the video. Thanks for watching guys, thanks for subscribing. I look forward to seeing all of you in the next video.